Good morning, children! This is Teacher Anne, and today we are going to discuss another lesson in mathematics, and that is all about fraction. Do you know, class, that we are using fraction in our everyday living? For example, when we are buying something at the store or at the market, we buy one fourth kilo of sugar, one half kilo of pork, one half kilo of fish, three fourth kilos of beef, and some others. When we are cooking, we are also using this fraction. For example, you are measuring some ingredients when you are baking one half kilo of all-purpose flour, one fourth kilo of sugar, and some others. And today, we are going to find out how to write fraction appropriately. So if you are interested, all you need to do is to finish this video. Come on, let's start! When we say fraction, it is part of a whole, and it has two parts, namely numerator and denominator. Watch this video for further explanation. Good morning everybody! This is Teacher Anne, and today our topic is about fraction. When we say fraction, it is part of a whole. Siya ay parte ng isang buo. For example, I have here a pizza. And then, I divided it into four equal parts. Okay, so after I divided it into four equal parts, I ate one part of it. Kinain ko siya. Ayan, kinain ko siya. Okay, our fraction will be one fourth. So, how does it happen? So, before we explain how does it happen, so let us first find out the parts of a fraction. Just like human body, fraction also has part. The upper part is called the numerator. And the lower part is called the denominator. So what's the difference between numerator and denominator? So on this example, we have pizza. Then, we divided it into four equal parts. So, one, two, three, four. That is the denominator. The denominator tells us how many parts the whole was divided. So, in this whole pizza, we divided it into four. So, our denominator is four. One, two, three, four. That is the denominator. It is the part of a whole that tells how many parts the, a whole has been divided. And then, the numerator tells how many parts was taken. For example, in this whole pizza, how many part or parts were taken? How many parts do I eat? One. So, that is the numerator. What if I eat two parts? I eat this part. So, how many parts were taken? One, two. So, we will change it to two. What if I am hungry and then I eat another part? I eat another part. So, how many parts were taken? Or how many parts were eaten? One, two, three. So, you will change it to three. We need to remember that when we are writing a fraction, we need to find out first the denominator for us not to be confused. Please watch the video for further explanation. Again, this is Teacher Ann and today I am going to teach you how you can write fraction easily. So for example, I have here a whole. Then I divided it into eight equal parts okay so the first thing that you need to do is to count the numbers of parts a whole was divided for example on this example so we need to find out how many parts this whole was divided so sorry if there is if we are 
noisy. We are here at the school. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 parts. For you not to be confused, the first thing that you are going to do is to write first the numer the denominator rather so you need to find out the denominator by counting the parts a whole was divided okay on this example it was divided into eight parts one two three four five six seven eight so write eight at the bottom of the bar line so eight is our denominator and for example there are three shaded part for example how many shaded parts this fraction has one two three so our numerator is three okay what if i shaded this part so it's not a problem just count one two three four so we will change it to four what if i shaded all of this so, no problem again. Just erase the numerator and then count the number of shaded part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, 8 over 8. So, what does it mean? For example, you have the same number of numerator and you have also the same number of denominator. It is equal to 1 or 1 whole. It means that a pizza was divided into eight parts and you eat eight parts also so it means that you eat the whole pizza so no worries if that is 12 over 12 or 12 twelves it, it is also equals to 1 15 over 15 it's also equals to 1 1000 over 1000 it's also equals to 1 so Take note that every time you see a fraction with the same number of numerator and denominator, that is equal to 1. For more information, please watch the next video. Let us apply our knowledge in fraction by giving the equivalent symbol or fraction of this example. In this number 1. So, how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the denominator is 6. How many parts were taken? 1, 2, 3. So, numerator is the shaded part in a fraction. Next, our example is a triangle. How many triangles or how many parts? The triangle was divided. 1, 2, 3, 4. You need to include the shaded part in the denominator. And then, for the numerator, how many parts were shaded? So how many parts were shaded? 1. So, your, your numerator is 1. Then, number 3. How many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many parts were shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, our numerator is 4. So, for you to find out the correct fraction in a more easier way, so, all you need to do is to find out first or to write first the denominator. So, you will not be confused. So, this circle is divided into how many parts? 1, 2. 2 is our denominator. And how many parts were shaded? 1. So, our numerator is 1. On this example, let us find out how many parts this square was divided. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 is our denominator. How many parts were shaded? 1, 2, 3. Okay, 3 is our numerator. Take a look at this last example. It is different from, uh, from the other examples. 
Okay, so this heart is divided into how many parts? One, two. So two is our denominator. How many parts were shaded? One, two. Okay, two parts were shaded. When we have the same numerator, the same number of numerator and denominator, it means or it is equal to one or one whole. Okay. And thank you kids for watching our video lesson for this day. I hope that this lesson will help you better understand and improve your understanding in mathematics. For more video lessons, you may visit us on YouTube. Just type Teacher Ann Alfaro. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all to get updated on the latest videos that we are going to upload. You may also like and visit our Facebook page, Video Lessons by Teacher Ann. That's all for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.